Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Gunpla Network News. As always, I'm your host, The Spicer, and today's episode is brought to you by none other than those fine folks over at Canadian Gundam. Canadian Gundam is your one-stop shop for all things Plamo and Gunpla here in North America. With flat rate shipping to the US and Canada, a private warehouse option, and a vast catalog that's restocked regularly, they're going to have whatever you're looking for. So when you're placing your next order, don't forget to use the promo code GUMPLA NETWORK to save yourself 10% off. Well, we haven't had a ton of big news drops this year, we just got one within the last week and we got a little bit of everything. And that starts us off with a figurized standard amplified Egyptian god, the Winged Dragon of Ra, with a release date of October 2024 and a price tag of 7,700 Japanese yen. More Yu-Gi-Oh kits, that's pretty sick, these all look really good. The big golden chicken of Yu-Gi-Oh has finally made its debut in plastic, and yeah, I mean, the more of these we get, I think the better, I mean, just like with Digimon, this makes a ton of sense, put it in plastic model form, the more of these we see, the better. We also have, in kind of a little different way, the best mecha collection, 1144 scale, RX-78-2 Gundam 1980 Revival Edition with a release date of October 2024 and a price tag of 1,320 Japanese yen. If you're a fan of the old school wonky proportion Gundam or you just want something that's almost kind of like a time capsule in and of itself, this is a really cool release. Definitely not something that Bandai had to do not something I really ever thought they would do, because why? But this is kind of neat. If you're a fan of Gundam, if you're a fan of Gundam history, or you just kind of like something a little wonky on your shelf, this is a pretty neat thing. We also have the high-grade Universal Century 1144 scale Bolin Yok Simone. And I'm sure I mispronounced that, so be sure to let me know how I did in the comments with a release date of November 2024 and a price tag of 3,520 Japanese yen. And yeah, this is a big boy, another really big high grade from the UC, not that surprising. And uh, from the Zeta era, no less. Yeah, I mean, if you like Zeta era stuff, this is up your alley. If you've never really liked some of the weird signs of Zeta, this is probably, you're skipping past this part in the video. <laughs> we also, in a different version of the UC, kind of to an extent, maybe possibly. Uh, the high grade 1144 scale Zaku to Sorori from Requiem from For Vengeance, with a release date of October 2024 and a price tag of 2,090 Japanese yen. This is the Requiem for Vengeance take on the Zaku 2. A little bit different as pretty much every version of the Zaku 2 has been as it's shown up in other things. And you know, take it or leave it. Some people like these designs, some people don't. If this is something you're into, you do like this design, you now have a plastic model for it. Staying in the same vein, though, we have the high-grade 1144 scale Gundam EX, once again from Re Requiem for Vengeance. Oh, that word's gonna kill me today. With a release date of October 2024 and a price tag of 2,090 Japanese yen. Once again, another divisive design from this. I've seen many more worse takes on this than the Zaku. Uh, but, you know, once again, if you like this design, it's awesome that you have the model kit of this coming out soon. If you don't like the design, don't buy it. <laughs> we also have the high-grade Cosmic Era 1144 scale Murasame Kai with a release date of October 2024 and a price tag of 2,750 Japanese yen. There have been a fair few changes between the original Murasame and the Murasame Kai. If you want to check out our review of the high-grade Murasame, you can find it probably in the description, or you can just search it on our uh, channel page. Uh, and this looks different. Uh, if you guys are curious at all, I can do a breakdown of the differences as far as design goes. But I am glad we're seeing a new Murasame. I love this overall mobile suit, and it's cool that this new movie has kind of revamped it a little bit. We also have the High Grade Cosmic Era 1144 scale Black Knight Squad Kelri A, I think, with a release date of October 2024 and a price tag of 4,700 Japanese yen, and we get a 
fairly regal, a pretty regal looking mobile suit, not something we typically get, especially, especially rather, from Gundam Seed. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is cool. This is the main antagonist of the Gundam Seed Freedom movie. So if you do like bad guy suits, this kind of screams bad guy in a very different way than traditional Gundam Seed suits do, but it's cool, it's big, it's got the traditional big seed backpack, and it's going to stand out on your shelf. We also have a high-grade Cosmic Era 1144 scale Destiny Gundam Spec 2 plus Zeus Silhouette, with a release date of November 2024 and a price tag of 7,920 Japanese yen. So you get the high-grade Cosmic Era Destiny Gundam, which I'm also pretty fairly positive we've reviewed on this channel, uh, but it is in a the spec 2 configuration quote unquote which really just looks like it like the white or gray for most of the mobile suit just turned to like a dark gray uh, i think you also get a different rifle with it um but you also get the zeus silhouette which is what i imagine most people are going to be here for this individual kit for uh yeah big armor pack you got missiles all over the place you got a big gun this screams certain eras of the UC to me. Uh, it, it's cool. I mean, once again, if this is something that Gundam Seed, the Cosmic Era, is taking inspiration from the UC to do, I think they've done it very, very well here. We also get, and probably the biggest news of potentially the year, the real grade 1144 scale RX78-2 Gundam 2.0 with a release date of August 2024 and a price tag of 3,850 Japanese yen. The first 2.0 RG to come out, and it's only a few months away at this point, which is pretty crazy to me. Uh, it seems like just yesterday this was announced, so uh, pretty neat that we're getting this. Um, it's going to be, I want to say, a heavy RG year, but we are getting two RGs this year, and that's pretty cool. The other real grade we'd be talking about in this instance would be the real grade 1144 scale, Akatsuki Giki. Akatsuki Gundam uh, Washi Pack with a release date of December 2024, just making the cut for this year, and a price tag of 8,800 Japanese yen. I don't remember if we put this on our predictions for 2024, but we've definitely had it on that list before, and it's finally happened. Uh, we'll see how the gold plays out. Maybe it's done very well uh, with RGs and all the different part separation the uh, engineering on this thing is going to be very interesting um, and how they try to hide nub marks if they do. But anyway, if you like the Akatsuki Gundam, if you like shiny Gundams, if you like stuff that just stands out where you're a Gundam Seed fan, obviously this is going to be right up your alley. Right up my alley, though, is the Master Grade SD or MGSD Wing Gundam Zero EW version with a release date of November 2024 and a price tag of 4,950 Japanese yen. I've been a massive proponent of the MGSD line because the Barbados and the Freedom were excellent model kits. This, I think, is going to be the same. And while I would have preferred the Proto Zero, I can definitely get behind this and I understand it's kind of the more iconic version of it. So this totally makes sense. I'm glad to see it coming out and I'm glad to see more MGSDs. Last and most definitely not least, in a very interesting turn of events, the Entry Grade 1144 scale RX-78-2 Gundam Classic Color, which is a Gundam-based limited release releasing this month in June of 2024, while well, supplies last, meaning you're probably not going to get a re-release of this anytime soon or maybe ever, for a price tag of 1,100 Japanese yen. Now, not only is the coloration relatively special for this and kind of the big reason it's a limited release, but this is also one of the few kits you'll find that actually at least labels that it uses eggshell plastics. Now, regardless whether you are looking at plastic alternatives, this is still really neat. Trying different materials for plastics, being already one of the best in terms of making plastic for model kits like this, it's really interesting, and I think the more we see Bandai experiment, and even if it's just in limited releases like this, it's really cool just to see what they can do in regards to engineering and making these plastics out of just different materials. Anyway, that has been the news for this week, this month, this quarter, whatever you want to call it. Let us know in the comments down below what you're most excited for. 
I don't think it's going to be a surprise to anyone that I'm probably most excited about that MGSD. But that Akatsuki real great is looking real sweet. Although, I don't envy anyone who does not have uh, gloves and tries to build that thing because it's going to have handprints all over it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We do truly appreciate it. As always, I've been the Spicer here for the Gumpla Network. Please do your best to stay safe and keep on building.